only way to make a sustainable difference. And that's something that, I mean, development has been happening for years, efforts in development, investments, funding, financing now. But how do we make it stick? So in the justice conversations, for example, a simple exercise like this gets the um, government to see, oh, wait a minute, there's something that the police has to do with the issue of justice. And now they're coming in with the justice uh, the climate security nexus, which is a conversation that would never have taken place if we did not have the multiple uh, people speaking together. What I would say are the main takeaways for me personally are, um, uh, you know, the, the need to upgrade our own thinking to understand and solve complex problems that are now resurfacing. But to also kind of conceptually work with them on the kind of qualitative and quantitative data that they might need in order to measure the, the progress of their interventions towards um, impacting the system as well. So this room we call the Renewal Engine. And the purpose of this room is really to accompany your transition to portfolios. Plunging it into a different approach to knowledge management, where knowledge management is not like writing papers, storing them somewhere, and trying desperately to have people reading them. No, the idea is that for us, knowledge is something that we need to use. And the new engine is trying to give you a tool to use knowledge better. Brought us to reality and to think about where are we heading, you know, and to take into consideration some of the uncertainties. And I think this is very critical. Navigating in uncertainties is always difficult. Uh, to have more uh, uh, integrated uh, approaches uh, among uh, across thematics, um, be more transverse, transversal, and have this bird eye view on uh, the uh, most uh, pressing and uh, challenges uh, that uh, the country faces. This process is doable because it's being implemented and done within the policies and the bureaucracy of the individual.